Hello, my name is Thomas from EMD Adventure Gear and today I'm very happy to go through the installation process of our ASKIA 34 liter side panier system. It's a very straightforward installation. It takes you about 30 to 45 minutes. Before you start, grab your favorite drink. In my case, it's a nice hot coffee. And then you have a nice start to begin the installation. In step one, we take care of the back plate of the mounting system, which is called lock block system. You will receive one box, which is including two lock blocks. You will get two back plates, CNC aluminum machined, four sliders and four hooks, as well as a hardware package with nylock nuts and a lot of stainless steel M6 by 16 mil bolts. What you need for the installation is one four mil Allen key, and a 10 mil spanner or ratchet as well as medium strange Loctite. You will find three different slots on the top of the back plate. This is for the location of our lock block. Uh, here you can adjust the height of the back. So in my case I will go with the middle one because I know it's for a BMW 1250GS with Outback Motortech Rex and this is the perfect uh, place for that. Uh, if you're not sure I will recommend to mount this uh, in the middle section and test it on your bike if it's okay from the height or not. And if not, you can adjust it to lower or make it even higher. To install the lock block, you need two screws, two bolts and the two nylock nuts. On the back side of the blade, you will see that the slots are curved, so the bolts will fit perfectly. Then mount the nylock nuts. Just a few turns. After that, grab your tools and make the bolts almost tight, but make sure that the lock block is still free to move left and right because we have to adjust these on our pannier rack. To make it easier for you to see how it works, I will do this with a disassembled pannier rack. For sure you can do this on your bike. You have not to disassemble your pannier rack. This is just for you to see what happened. So, I would recommend to mount this blade with the lock block mounted but still slightly loose on your pannier rack like this and turn the locking mechanism. So now you can adjust the blade in the middle of your pannier rack or on this position where you like to have it. Then grab your two hooks, find the perfect spot. In my case I will go with these two lines on the bottom. And mount those two sliders on the left and on the right, like this. And then you have just to take your bolts and make them tight. In this case you have to use medium strange Loctite for the lock block on top. You don't have to use Loctite because you have the nylock nuts. And this is how it looks like in the finished way. Now the lock block the sliders and the hooks are mounted and it's a very sturdy solution. Um, on, on the back side you can see all the stainless steel bolts and all the slots. In the next step we have to go ahead with our main back body. You will receive the main back body itself. The new shields, protection shields with the compression straps. This is the standard design, what you see here. And what you see over here, this is the topographic design, this is a new one. The standard one will come with black straps and the topographic with the light grey straps. Also you will, you will receive um, so those uh, stiffening blades, one big one and two smaller ones. The smaller ones are for the sides and this one for the bottom. I will show you later in more detail. You also will get our injection molded uh, plastic inner plate which is for the connection with the back plate. Um, 
Make sure that the flat surface is showing to the back. This comes pre-installed normally. If not, please make sure that this surface is showing to the back and the honeycomb surface is showing to the inside of the bag. You also will get our waterproof dry bag and the new corner protection with the nice aluminium hooks for mounting. So let's go ahead and install all the parts on the back. So this step is very hard to show on camera because I have no cameraman and do all by my own. On the sides of the bags you will see these uh, pockets with a zipper. There you slide in the long ones left and right and you will find another pocket on the bottom of the bag where you place the big one. As you can see as soon as you have installed all the stiffening blades on the sides and the bottom the bag is now semi rigid it will stay by itself in shape. Um, I will always recommend to put the side stiffeners in the pockets the bottom, bottom stiffener you can also uh, take out if you don't want it. Um, yeah. This is it. Uh, let's go ahead with the next step. You will see all these holes on the back for mounting with the um, back plate. There's one special hole you need now. This is in the center one, the second from top, this one. And you also have to grab your long compression strap. That's from the top of the shield of this height. And you will find one different bolt in your set. That's a 10 mil um, M6 um, bottom head and this will be here to fix the strap on this position. Um, don't worry, it's just to hold it in place and uh, keep him from sliding left to right. Uh, the rest of the strap will be fixed by the back plate itself. So please make sure that you have your strap in the right direction. So the geox have to face up and the opening has to face down. Then place it on the second from top middle thread insert. Take your M10 screw. I also did some Loctite on the, on the thread as well. And then just mount it up on this position. And voila. The strap is now fixed. This is to make it changeable. If you want to change your design or the strap is going to be damaged, we can replace it. So all straps are bolted on and not sewed on. So now we will connect our back plate to the back. Um, now grab five pieces of your bolts and we'll mount this five um, positions. One, two, three, four, five on the back side of the pannier. Also here, please use uh, medium strange Loctite. An important note for all these crazy strong dudes out there, um, the thread inserts are inserted into plastic, so do not crazy over tight these screws um, because you can damage your thread inserts. Um, so just take care. I'm pretty sure you will do it right. So in the next step, you have to grab the two short um, compression straps because this st uh, step is very important. Otherwise you have to disconnect, uh, disbolt some parts later. So also make sure you have the right, right strap in the right direction on the, cor on the right um, side. You will find on the bottom of the bag these loops. Now grab the strap with the non-hook side, this part where the hole is, uh, where you bolt it on, this here you have to grab and go through the loop. Yeah, like this. One, and the same on the other side. I came back when I have installed the second one. So now place the two straps on the lower two holes. Please take care that you don't twist it. So you have it on the correct direction. And now, also important is to grab your protective shield. You will find also three holes on the bottom. And these are for these three holes on the bottom of the back. So also slide these in. 
and line up the holes like this. Yeah. So all we you have to do now is to grab the last few bolts. One, two, three, four, five dicks. Uh, your Allen wrench and medium strange Loctite and bolt these on as well. So let's go. So now we have finished the installation process um, of the back and the back plate. Um, if you wonder what these two metal loops are for, these are for old shield design. You don't need them. Uh, just leave them on the place. They don't take care of it. So in the next step you just have to turn around your back and I will show you how to proceed. Another small tip to make your installation more convenient is to mount your G-hooks on the middle molly system, on the model panel here in the middle, so the straps are not falling off and they are not in your way while you mount. The next part, the corner protection. For this I will come a little bit closer with the camera and show you in detail how to mount this. The first step you can see right now, this is the easiest one. You will see that the corner protection has two different materials. On front you have the Hypalon and on the bottom you have the 1680D Ballistic Nylon. The Ballistic Nylon has to show down and the Hypalon part has to show to the front. There's also the opposite side of the Velcro, which you also find on the bottom of the back. Just place these centered on this part and the next step I will show you in a close-up. So in this step we have to go through this loop again with this strap uh, which is mounted on the corner protection. So also put this through and you will see that on the end of the strap you have this loop and here you attach the hook and the strap which is loaded with a spring that it doesn't fall off by itself like this. So now we are coming to one of the last step. The corner protection is installed. Now grab your shield, place the two fit locks on the opposite part. Please make sure that you let the magnets do their work and don't fiddle it around with your hands. So the fiddle locks are here to make, you, to make the bag more convenient for you and um, take the work off from you. All what you have now to do is to grab your four hooks and mount it to the loops on the shield. Like so. Then pull them tight. Most important is that you make the bottom ones, the two bottom ones, very, very tight and roll up the ends of the straps. I will show you in detail in a few moments. Um, this is important to support also the bottom of the bag. Um, there should always be a little bit of wiggle room on the side so the strap keep all the force when you crash or fall and keeps your back safe. So I will show you how it looks when it's completely strapped down. So this is how it have to look like. As you see, I roll down the retaining straps to all, uh, all the end of the buckle. So this keeps um, the strap in place and it doesn't come loose. And what I mean with wiggle room is even when you push out the bag to this maximum, you will also have a little bit of free play here and the strap has all the strains to support the lower end of the bag. So the last step you have to do to finalize your build is to place our dry bag with the EMD badge on the back side of the pannier inside of the outer shell and connect the velcro straps of the dry bag together with the velcro straps of the outer shell. To make it easier, 
you may have seen this, that I turned around the upper section, so I have an easy job and the Velcro doesn't connect too early. Now, when the dry bag is in, I just turn this around and start on one side to connect the Velcro. There's two open parts where you can see the gray material between the Velcro straps. This is where the, the corner is. So make sure that you start on this position and go slowly all the way to the opposite side. Like so. And you're done. In the very in the beginning, the waterproof liner is a little bit stiff. After a few days of using, it will be very easy to roll down. Um, there are some points I want to show you, uh, which are important uh, in the usage of the bag to make it easy to use. Um, the special buckles from Fitlock, all this magnetic stuff is wonderful to use as long as you use it in the right way. So I will bring the camera a little bit closer and show you what I mean. So one of my goals was to have a clean looking bag. The only downside on this is that you are not able to overstuff the bag. To close it, you have to roll it down one, two, three times. Then you have this nice looking flat top. Close the middle one. And on the side, you will find these fingerprint badges. These are here to show you where is the perfect spot to push the bag down that the fit lock, the magnetic lock uh, closes, will lock automatically. To open this, the easiest way or the correct way is to pull these tabs down. Then it will go easy. If you pull it upwards, it doesn't work. You can damage this buckle, but no worries, we can replace it if this part is broken. So again, the correct way is to pull on these little pull tabs down and then you're easy to go and you have a very convenient, very, very, very convenient part to open and close your bag. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the installation video like I did. Um, if you have any questions or you would like to leave a comment down below, I'm very too happy to receive them. And I wish you all the most fun with our bags. You have 10 year warranty and on all customers who will buy the first generation bag you also will have an update guarantee. This means if we change something like, like we did now with the new shield concept which is important to improve our bags you will receive them for free and automatically. You don't have to register uh, a special update um, program. Your dealer will have to keep this in mind and we'll ship you the parts um, as soon as they have received them. So for now, here you can see again the two different designs we have currently available. The standard design and our topographic design. There will new ones following in the next couple of months. So please have a visit on our website emd-adv.com or like us and follow us on social media like on YouTube, Facebook or Instagram to get the newest updates as first. So thank you again and we see us on the trails. Bye bye. One little point on the end. Um, as you may have noticed, my English isn't the best. So I'm very sorry for that, but I think it makes sense to make it in English because the product is international. Um, other languages will follow soon. So German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, Japanese, all these stuff are coming in the next couple of weeks and months. So please, uh, sorry for this. If English isn't your, your native language, it's also not my la native language. So yeah, we will improve all these things as soon as we can. Um, it's just a little company, it's just me and myself. I develop these parts, I assemble these parts. 
Um, so this is big why some processes are take a little bit longer. But we hope we will grow and get some employees soon. So yeah, thank you for watching. Bye bye.